Hey, this is um Florida Bass Fisher 14's friend. I'm here to do a little review about the banjo minnow. A lot of people really have them, but I don't know. I just ordered these like a couple of days ago, and they just came in. Um, I don't know. They're all right. They just they have some action to them. I I don't know. They're pretty good. The eyes, they have the weighted eyes. I have the weighted eyes in this one right now. And then they have the biggest hook set. Hook set. And, um, no, they're alright. I mean, there's really a way to fishing them. I mean, you just can't throw them out there and, like, work them like a worm. Or, like, something like that. You have to really, like, know what you're doing. Um, but, yeah, they have some action. They're, I've really, I've just been using them just here lately. And I've used, I haven't, I mean, I use these today, but I haven't, I got like a bite off of this, um, but I've caught some with these two colors right here and the, both of these sizes. Um, yeah, this I mean they both they work all right I guess, but I haven't really tried the El Cinco rig up yet. But um, yeah, they give you like a variety of like eyes and stuff. You can really tell which ones are weighted and which ones aren't. Like them two right there, them are the weighted ones along with the the red ones that I have in the one right now. And there's just a variety of different sizes and weights. And then they um they give you a lot of weed guards. Like these little these little tiny rubber bands. And uh they give you three of each hook. They have the small hook. They have the um the El Cinco hook. I only give you two of the El Cinco's, and then they give you three of the medium size hooks, and they give you three of the larger hooks. And I have a large hook in one of the banjo minnows right now. Um, yeah, they, it comes with a DVD. I haven't watched the DVD yet. I need to, but I mean, they have some action to them. Um. I guess that's really it. And you go out and get you some. They probably work for you. I mean, these two right here, I, the first time that I threw it out with this guy, he um he caught one for me. I got a bite off the first time, and then it, he caught about three for me that day. Nice size bass. And then uh, the hook set. The um whenever you like the, with this weed guard, like or with the weed guard too, the weed the, these little butt rubber bands are real small. And for me, I got, like, real big, like, fat fingers. And uh, the weed guard's real hard to get on. But whenever you do the hook set, like, the first, I realized this the first time that I used it. Whenever you take it, and you once you get a bite, normally, like, I, I'd set the hook, like, once I get a bite. Well, with these, you have to, like, you have to really wait until they, like, really take it. And then you set the hook. I mean, I don't know why, but that's just how I've been catching them. You can't, like, set it, like, right off the bat. Some people, they have a little rule, but that's just what I've learned with them. Um, well, that's really about it. I mean, my only problems is these daggum weed guards. They're hard as mess to get back on, and I have to use tweezers sometimes. But that's really it. It comes in a variety of different sizes. It comes in, like, two sizes of each. It, it gives you one big one of each size, and then it gives you... um you one big one in each size and then it gives you two of like the medium sized the medium sized ones and it gives you two of the smaller ones and then it just it just does that for every for every color and then the glow in the dark ones a lot of people have been really I don't know if a lot of people have been wondering about them but I was wondering about them and I used them the other day and I don't know um they're all right I mean They don't really glow in the dark like they do, like like it shows them to do. But I mean, they glow some, but it has to be like extremely, extremely dark. But they glow a little bit. But other than that, I mean, I wouldn't recommend them for night fishing too much. You need to stay with top water for night fishing. But these, you know, they just don't glow too much. And um, well, that's about it for the banjo minnow. I just try to do a small little review for them. I mean, they're all right. You can go out and get you some. Try them on out. I tried them on out. I like them. I need to. You just really don't have to have to know how to work them. 
Well, this is Florida Bass Fisher 14's friend signing off. See you guys later.